I'm really going to miss him a lot. I'm going to miss him so much. Oh my god. Baby Casey, you guys know him now. I love you all. Come follow me to a secret place. Hello guys and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. It's your favorite MTDK Mary Quincy and you are watching Mary Quincy TV. If you are new to my channel, you are highly welcome. I'm a YouTuber based here in Lagos, Nigeria. Number one state with heavy traffic. So guys, this is just like an update about my son Mary Casey, where he is currently. For those of you that don't know him, uh, I have video of him and me in some of my previous videos. You can watch some of them and get to know him, okay? In those videos, he was two years old, so currently he's three years old, okay? Yeah, so um, I so much appreciate everyone of you that me asking of him, like, you know, some of you DM me on Instagram, and so, some of my comments, like, where is it? It's been a while, you guys see him in my blogs. So I so much appreciate you guys so, so much for all of your concern. Like, guys, it's not easy to say goodbyes. Honestly, like saying goodbyes to people we love, maybe when they are traveling or when they are going somewhere that we have to stay apart. It's not easy. Like, you know that feeling of you missing them. Ah, the clip you guys watched a while ago, that was, if you guys remember in, uh, sometime in April, I traveled to Enugu. It was that period that we just opened the shop. I rushed down to Enugu. The main reason why I traveled that period was because after they closed for their second time, I was like, before they resume third time, let me take him to grandma's place. Because you guys, when, when we started the business, you guys know how restaurants and bar business used to be. Assuming it's kind of like um, uh, maybe a food store business or provision, fashion business, even a boutique. It would be easy for me to be going with a toddler, you know, and the time I would close will not be as late as bar work okay so when we started this particular business and the time we used to close sometimes if we open shop we'll be closing very 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 late to the midnight like it was at 11 12 we'll still enter bike you know and be going home with the toddler so it was not easy sometimes if you come down from the bike like there'll be water all over his eyes like i was like what, what are we going to do about it when we, even that early period we started in march it was even his dad that would be paying him for school because me, I'll be, I'll wake up very early, I'll go to the shop and be preparing some food, okay? And his dad would prepare him for school. After school, then he'll be coming to the shop. So he'll stay at the shop, you know, people smoking, you know, drinking and all of that. It's not really good for him to be in that kind of environment. Assuming somebody is staying with us already, permanently, I would say, okay, after school, they'll be at home. When I close, I'll go and meet them at home. Maybe once in a while, he'll just come to the shop and... Or even though I take him to the shop, we'll be going home early. By that time, there will be staff, okay? But that period, that was just me and his dad. And you guys know, we lost all of our source of our income that this business, we just want to use it to start all over again, okay? Our two shops, um, where his dad sells, he's into fashion and all of that. They demolished the market. The This restaurant and business we just, just, just started this year. We are supposed to open the business a long time ago in one other location like that. We did not open the place based on one issue or the other. They later demolished the place again. Like, it, it, it has been God all the way. Though. So I was not like, the best thing is for me to take him to grandma's place so that we stand on our, on our feet for now first. Because if I say, let me bring someone, the person is not staying with us for a very long time yet. If the person come this time around i cannot just leave the two of them in the house definitely two of them will be following me to the shop all this kind of stuff i recently i think about it i was like the best thing is for him to go and stay with grandma for now that was why i traveled to enugu assuming my phone did not lose i'll be showing you guys clip on like a day in my life at the restaurant with my toddler you guys will see it was not easy <laughs> can you go come here leave that bottle you know all this kind of stuff it was not easy though that was why i made that decision it was not easy like the goodbye i missed him a whole lot like my life right now without him is just like 
ah, like, oh my God. <laughs> the first time he showed, like that first week, when they resumed school, I woke up very early. Like, Let me go and prepare his lunchbox and all of that. I was like, oh, maybe Casey is not around. <laughs> Guy, I miss him a whole lot. And if you're new to my channel, baby case, we always do. I love you all. <laughs> I miss that a whole lot from him. Anytime I'm doing vlog, like all this kind of stuff. So um, hopefully on a very good day, if I'm talking to him on the phone, I'll be on camera so that he will say hello to you guys, okay? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're if I'm not yet subscribed. If I've watched my video for the very first time, subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? Um, the YouTube are based in Lagos, Nigeria, like I said before. Number one state with heavy traffic. Oh, hmm. I pray very soon Lagos will not be the number one state. Anyway, that is where the case is currently with the go. Hopefully, very soon going to go back to normal and we we'll all reunite together and we'll pray for a better future and everything okay you know if you want for somebody to stay with us permanently we have to be financially buoyant okay because when the person starts staying with us the person will become our responsibility we'll send the person to school to learn work all those kind of stuff so definitely we have to be financially strong <laughs> Okay, so I pray God Almighty will bless all of our hustle, bless your handwork, bless whatever it is you lay your hands on each and every one of us, and every one of us will have a brighter future ahead in Jesus' name. Like, I missed him so, so much. Like, the, 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 the feeling is, I know before here, like, YouTube is now a witness. Like, it's a place, it's like, you guys are family. You guys, I don't know how to explain it. You guys are now like family because people you don't even know, people you have not met one on one, like you know, getting to just watch your video. You guys are now like part of my life. Like, thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, help us share our video and grow our family. Okay, ah, I will see you guys again in my next video. <laughs>